What is the promising future recorded in the New Testament of the Holy Bible? Who is the Messiah that will come according to the Dead Sea Scrolls? And much more. Tune in for our series on ancient predictions about our planet. Today on Supreme Master Television. Greetings, noble viewers, and welcome. I am Wizard Alazar in the magnificent United Kingdom. The fascinating people of the United Kingdom wish you a magical day. Throughout history, prophets, gifted individuals from various cultures have made predictions regarding the future of our world. To many, these texts are usually obscure and hard to understand, as the secrets of the universe are not always to be so openly revealed. However, there seems to be one similar prediction among them, that is, the emergence of a new world, a brighter era of everlasting peace. Today, let us explore some of these prophecies about what has been described as the Golden Age. The concept of the Golden Age can be found in many religious texts, in Judaism and Christianity. This period of peace is called the Messianic Age, which is related to the belief in Messiah, the God-sent Savior for humanity. The Jewish scripture, known as the Talmud, predicts in great detail about the Messiah's arrival, also described in the Torah, or Old Testament of the Bible. The prophet Isaiah, who lived in the 8th century BC, predicted that a righteous person will establish God's kingdom on earth, unifying all nations. The individual will be a messenger of peace. Every peaceful plan will be done. The messenger of peace will take the barren land and make it abundant and fruitful. At that time, there will be no more hunger or illness, and death will cease. After initiation, your soul is free. You will never have to be reborn again in suffering and dying situation like in this world. You don't have to be reborn. Don't have to get old again. Don't ever have to suffer again. Don't have to be sick or suffer of any kind again. Don't ever have to experience this dying process again, which is terrifying and pain and troublesome and sorrow for yourself and for family members. You will be very, very happy from today on because you will see your life change for the better all the time, all the time, all the time. As stated in the book of Isaiah, The wolf also shall dwell with the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the kid, and the calf and the young lion, and the fatling together. And a little child shall lead them for the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord. A 
as the waters cover the sea. The prediction of a promising future is also recorded in the New Testament of the Bible. It foresees the second coming of Jesus Christ, who will bring blessings to the earth. The Gospel of Mark reads, Then they will see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and glory. Then he will send his angels and gather together his elect from the four winds, from the farthest part of earth to the farthest part of heaven. Master, did Tim Kuo Tu also create the original universe? Yeah, of course. Thank you. The Dead Sea Scrolls, which are considered the original Bible texts, also recorded the coming of Messiah. Found in Qumran caves near Jerusalem, the Dead Sea Scrolls include one fragment entitled Messianic Apocalypse. This document describes that a Messiah figure will come and the faithful Messiah will be glorified. read, the heavens and the earth will listen to his Messiah, and none therein will stray from the commandments of the Holy Ones. Make sure you keep also the five precepts. That's to protect you from going astray and uh, being misled by the, uh, the Maya. The Maya is the king of illusion. He will always still hanging around, trying to, to make trouble for you. But if you adhere to the five precepts, recite the five protecting, protective holy names all the time, and your life will be like in heaven. You will never have any trouble at all, anywhere you go. The Master power is always there. The Master is always with you. Seekers of the Lord, strengthen yourselves in His service and he will glorify the pious on the throne of the eternal kingdom. He who liberates the captives. This kind of uh, controlling empire. They put a lot of instruments all over the planet. Not even an ant can get out. Not even a mosquito can escape. Not even a speck of dust flew out. I told you already, the heavens were discussing how to destroy it because many attempts fail. It's only make more trouble. So one day I was just uh, mad, <laughs> angry. I said, take them all, or take them down, every one of them. The gods smashed it, smashed them, yes. That's what they say, smashed. Yeah. <laughs> who restores sight to the blind. We have it there, we have it there too. Yes? So the highest um, gate for us to leave this physical body when we die is the third eye center, the wisdom center. He who straightens the bent and forever I will cleave to the hopeful and in his mercy. 
Next, let's read some beautiful messages from Jean de Jerusalem, the French clairvoyant who belonged to the Knights Hospitaller, a Roman Catholic order. In the 11th century, he wrote a prophecy book, the Book of Prophecies. In its pages, he describes a woman as the mother of the millennium, who will lead humans to a new era of love and light, emanating mild sweetness. The woman will be the great mother of the times to come. I love you forever. He also predicts a wonderful future in which humanity will become enlightened and bring back the divine order to earth. The concept of the golden age appears in Hinduism as well. According to the Vedas, there is a cycle of four eras or yugas, which are the Sata Yuga, the Trita Yuga, the Dwapara Yuga and the Kali Yuga. The Sata Yuga is the golden era of enlightenment. However, from this blissful state, human morality declines with each successive yuga. The final Kali Yuga is marked by the most darkness, during which lives are lost at the hands of fellow humans. The cycle supposed to reach the golden time according to the uh, evolution of our planet, yes. But uh, humans were too slow to accelerate, so there was much cleansing going on, and we still have a chance to keep the golden age if we stop all the violence, yeah, and return to virtuous living. However, also in the Kali Yuga, is a 10,000 year period of a golden age. Many Vedic scholars think that we are now in the Kali Yuga and are going to enter the golden age. A Hindu spiritual script describes this momentous elevation as follows. All Ganges, the whole planet will become a pilgrimage site by the presence of Vaishnavas or the faithful, even though they have been sinful. For 10,000 years of Kali Yuga, such devotees of mine will fill the whole planet. The Buddhist counterpart of the Messiah is the Maitreya Bodhisattva. In the Mahavatnakuta Sutra, Shakyamuni Buddha predicts that the Maitreya Bodhisattva will descend to the earth from the two Shitta heaven and lead the world towards enlightenment. According to the Sutra, Maitreya Buddha will make all humans to have bodies like the Buddhas. We have Buddha nature inside. We have light of the Buddha inside. I adore the Buddha within all of you. And Maitreya Buddha will perform immeasurable manifestations using various kinds of spiritual powers. I saw God, the light was so blinding. I saw Jesus and he was sitting down, he was very happy. Mm. And I saw the Prophet Muhammad yeah. and he was very happy. A bright condensed light and everything around illuminated. It was so bright. So I must have fly the UFO around and clean up the karma. Sau đó cái lực lượng rất là lớn, nó phủ hết lên đầu của con, toàn thân con. Yeah. Và sau đó uh, gia trì cho con rất là nhiều. Khi mà con chú tâm vào cái lực lượng đấy thì nó càng lớn hơn. Moreover, viewers who are ready will all be liberated.
At that time, people will commit no crimes or evil deeds, but will take pleasure in doing good. Human beings are then without any blemishes. Moral offenses are unknown among them, and they are full of zest and joy. Meanwhile, in Islam, some Muslims believe that the 12th Imam, Muhammad al-Mahdi, will return to the earth. He is believed to bring harmony and peace to the world. The renovation of the world is also stated in the Holy Quran. The day will come when this earth will be substituted with a new earth. also the heavens. I go take care of them to make them mature, to take care that they go into maturity, to balance the whole creation and non-creation because otherwise the shadow universe has spread out so quick. Who created Tuquo? Yes. You did master? <laughs> the team Quotu and, and company. And everyone will be brought before God, the One, the Supreme. The Baha'is believe that the Messianic Age began to unfold when Baha'u'llah made the declaration of his mission in 1863. There will be a 1,000 year period in which great peace and prosperity prevail. The majority of humankind will gradually adopt the vegetarian diet. A recent 2018 article published in Forbes magazine quoted statistics from a report by leading data and analytics company Global Data stated a full 70% of the world population reportedly is either reducing meat consumption or leaving meat off the table altogether. And a world commonwealth will be established. Shoghi Effendi, the former guardian of the Baha'i faith, wrote, The unity of the human race, as envisioned by Baha'u'llah, implies the establishment of a world commonwealth. In which all nations, races, creeds and classes are closely and permanently united. Where from? Bulgaria. Finland. Oh, Poland, Poland. Indonesia. And in which the autonomy of its state members and the personal freedom and initiative of the individuals that compose them are definitely and completely safeguarded. When the world is evolved, lasting peace can surely be expected. As Shoghi Effendi described it, the most great peace, a peace that must inevitably follow as a practical consequence of the spiritualization of the world and the fusion of all its races, creeds, classes and nations. lectures, Supreme Master Ching Hai has spoken of the Golden Age with great clarity, showing that achieving it indeed requires humanity's spiritualization and inner evolution. The following is an excerpt from Supreme Master Ching Hai's 1997 lecture given in London, the United Kingdom. If people start to uh, uh, go back more to God yeah? and uh, come more to the spiritual awareness, yeah, and lessen the karma of killing.
like following the vegetarian diet and keep the precept from the Bible or from the Buddhist scripture, whatever scripture, then the golden age comes soon. Mm. Hmm? Where in the society people don't fear each other, but love and help each other. That is golden age. Gentle hearted viewers, thank you for watching our series on ancient predictions about our planet. Please join us again for the next part of our program where we will take a look at other predictions made by the Native Americans, scientists and others around the world. Wishing you a future blessed with hope, compassion and love. For more details, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash AP.